So this is my third time, well maybe more than third time, recording this. And mostly because the external mic that I was using with my camera kind of foobarred on me. It wouldn't, wouldn't work right. There was no sound when I recorded. So I'm going to try to make this real quick and hopefully this time it'll work. Obviously the sound's not going to be as good because I'm using the internal mic on the camera, but anyway, let's get to what this video is about. So, if you can see that, I have my battery percentage enabled on this uh, iPod Touch 4th generation, and ignore the fact that it's all smashed to crap on the top. So I'm going to show you how to how to do that without jailbreaking your device. And I'll just go into Battery Doctor so I can prove that it actually isn't jailbroken. So where it says jailbreak, it says no. So it's not jailbroken and it's fairly easy to do, but you will need a piece of software to do it. So this is the, the software that I use this isn't necessarily the only one and maybe not the best one and maybe not the one that you want to use but this is the one that I used and I'll leave a link to this in the description and just uh, a little disclaimer here um, this is my first time doing this and the first time using this software so so if you decide to use this software or do what I'm about to show you and it screws anything up then I'm, unfortunately it's going to have to be tough because I can't take any responsibility. I'm just showing you how I did it. And let's go to the computer and we'll get it done. So now that I'm on my computer and I have my iPod Touch plugged in, uh, just go to where your devices are and more than likely you'll only have one plugged in like I do, so right click on it, uh, click on backup and let iTunes back up your iPod. Once that's done, close iTunes and here's where the iBackup bot for iTunes comes in. So open that up and don't worry about all these different windows that pop up, just click OK. And find the find the backup that you just made and mine is the 23rd of August 2012 which is today obviously. Um, so double click on it and on the right column you have a whole bunch of paths so click on path and go down in the list and find okay right here find this path library forward slash preferences forward slash com dot apple dot springboard dot p l i s t so find that path and then double click on that and when the registration window pops up just uh, either click cancel or click on the X so here's our window with all the code that we need so yours might look a little different because I've already added the code that uh, you need to add. So go down in, in your list of code and on in mine it's uh, line 4 and find this piece of code here. D-I-C-T and click just after it and hit return or enter and add a new piece of code so add this and you won't be able 
to uh, copy and paste it in. I tried and it doesn't work so you have to actually type it. Make sure everything is typed the way it is on the screen. And after you do that, just uh, click the X and close that down. And on mine, I'm not going to save it because uh, I don't want to save this blank space. So uh, I'm going to click no, but when you're done, click yes. So now that that's all finished, uh, exit out of uh, iBackup Bot. And now go back to uh, iTunes. And you should still have your iPod plugged in, so go to where your iPod is on the list, right click on it, and then restore from backup. So once you uh, click restore from backup, find the backup that you just modified, and that should be the one that pops up, the first one on the list. And then click restore and let it go through the restore process and it should restart if it doesn't then restart it yourself and I'm not going to go through this stuff because mine's already been done so that's pretty much it that's all you have to do to uh, enable your battery percentage on a non-jailbroken iPod. It's a little bit of a roundabout way to do it, but but really so is jailbreaking. And if you if you're gonna jailbreak anyway, don't bother because you can you can get that <coughs> enabled when you jailbreak. But um, if you don't want to jailbreak, this is a perfect way to do it. But anyway, if this uh, video was helpful. Uh, click the like button if you have any questions or comments about the about the video or the method I used in the video leave a comment down below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, I'll talk to you later